Hello everybody and welcome to another Combat Archer episode in Skyrim with Requiem. Let's go through my uh, skills. And magic resistance 52 because I've got uh, the Lord Stone plus uh, 30 coming from alteration, 5 Agent of Mara and 2% because I've got 155 in base Magicka. I'm still 75 in restoration, 91 in alteration, 100 and 105 in enchanting and smithing. And yes, I've got all the perk uh, I need. I've got even one perk left in order to go to Sulkean. Because I am at 52 in magic resistance, I can go uh, as much as I can full, uh, full glass cannon, meaning <laughs> I did put all my uh, bonus in archery. Why I did that? I did that because uh, the undead in Sulkern are very, very tanky. And because of my mage armor and the fact I am wearing a full uh, dragon scale armor, I've got uh, 90, uh, 919 in. Uh, in armor rating with a light armor. For the start, I will have my stew on, but they will fade and I will not put them again. First part of the quest, meeting Serena Mother. Detector a spell. <coughs> I will cast it uh, a lot, but despite this spell, I did use um, Visible Entity mod. It's very hard to aim uh, the aura. I did try, but it wasn't that easy. So I just use a Combat Reflex. And look, this is invisible entities. They are always moving fast. It's very easy to miss arrows against them. And I'm using uh, my uh, glass bow in order to be uh, able to move fast. The issue is that I don't do as much damage as I want to do with this bow. For these three encounters, I did use a Predator Might Shout, meaning during uh, one minute and uh, yeah, around one minute, I've got plus 300 HP. So from uh, 300 XP approximately to uh, 600 HP. And despite using this shoot, I will get killed. I will not show you uh, on video my death because uh, I need to split Sulkern in multiple parts. It's too long. But it's uh, it's easy. I always died against invisible um, mysterious entities. I will not visit all Sulkern. 
I will focus on uh, meeting the mother, killing the three keeper, and retrieving my soul gem. A part I will not show to you because uh, even if I use a path uh, not in the center of the map, I did kill a lot, <laughs> a lot of uh, mist men and bone men and ref men. So after killing the dragon, I did retrieve my soul gem and it was not hard at all. I did meet an invisible entity, but uh, that's all. Fire burst enchantment is a blast here. Uh, it will allow me to uh, to kill Wraith men very quickly. Four arrows uh, against uh, eight to ten with uh, silver arrows of fire. So uh, fire burst very efficient, but it costs a lot of soul gem. Fortunately, we are inside uh, the soul cairn. You will find a lot of soul gem. I did came here with eight grand soul gem, and I left here with eight grand soul gem uh, full. I will try to save a bit my full gem, so I will not use all the time my fire burst enchantment. And I tried most of the time not to um, to re-enchant uh, my bow uh, in combat. I will spend a lot of time casting uh, Detect Aura. And despite doing that, I will meet, uh, I think, one or two invisible entities which were supposed to be still invisible because uh, you will see there is no uh, aura, red aura glowing. And uh, yeah, some invisible entity came from, uh, I don't know where, uh, the other side of the map and uh, like these two. They are not affected by uh, aura detection, so they were too far away when I cast it, I think. So I will cast it again and again and again, and despite that, I will fight one or two invisible entities uh, that I was not supposed to see with this spell, and I saw them thanks to the visible entity mod. As an archer, the invisible entities are the worst enemy you can meet. They are fast, they are not big target. Even when they are near you, they will continue to move uh, around you in order to strike you. That's why it's very difficult to aim at them. In order to make it more simple, I use Compact Reflex a lot and I can use it uh, infinitely because it's five, uh, it costs five uh, stamina per second, but uh, I've got more with my powerful healing aura and my base natural uh, stamina regeneration, and even at the start with my stew. Uh, what I've discovered uh, in trying other strategy is that my best strategy in order to be efficient is a uh, slow time shout. It's far better than combat reflex. But uh, this is not uh, the this is not in character. I play a bossmer. I'm fine with using, with being a werewolf. I am a werewolf now. Just for Soul Cairn. And I will be werewolf for uh, School Daffen, even if I don't need it. But yeah, uh, I am a werewolf. I'm fine with it because I've got Savior Hide, because I am a follower of Eosin. I am a hunter, the name of my character is the hunter, 
which is very very original and Predator Might is a shot perfectly in uh, in uh, in the same line with uh, Kin's shot. It's slow friendly with my uh, character. Slow time is not. I decided after a few try that. I will be able to get through Soul Cairn with this strategy, combat reflex uh, plus uh, uh, predator might against multiple visible invisible entities. And I will succeed. I will die, not so much. I'm pretty happy about that. And most of the time it was because one little bit lack of concentration because I did it in a row and I, it's a long, long time when you need to be focused, especially as a pure archer. And the other main reason I did die is because I will not use any potion during soul care. Not a single potion for anything. No magicka, no stamina, no elf potion. You will not see me drinking any potion during this playthrough. And there is no cut, that's why it will be in a two or three part. I decided to show you uh, everything in Soul Cairn. I will not loot. Uh, I will loot every uh, body because I need soul gem. But I will do only the main quest. And you will see that it's not easy. But um, if we compare with my first. Uh, through as a pure archer it's much more easier during my first playthrough I was sneaking uh, all the time I did kill uh, a lot of people almost the same than here but uh, yeah each combat was so hard so I was so stressed stressed and I did die a lot I mean a lot against invisible entities and I use uh, in combat potion. I use a poison of paralysis against invisible entities. Yeah, Serana, stop. <laughs> um, so yes, my first playthrough uh, as a combat archer here was not pretty to showcase on video and was not fun to play. I did have fun here. It was stressful because uh, it's obviously hard to deal with this entity as an archer. I think this is the most dangerous enemy uh, I can uh, meet. Pretty sure I've got one. Yeah, I did saw the glowing aura. Yeah, look how <laughs> she move. It moves from right to left, right to left. And I need three or four uh, dragon bow arrow of ice with my dragon bone bow, my best bow. Uh, so yeah, some guys like uh, Cyber Center, which I appreciate a lot. Uh, he did great things for Requiem. Uh, First of all, he made the 3.3 three, the 3 uh, boss buff happen. And he was right, the boss were a little bit weak in uh, the other three version of Requiem. He found out that my build was a bit min-max and I am agree with him, it's uh, totally poor gaming. But uh, I can't see myself coming here in Sulkern 
uh, with something which is not min-max uh, as an archer. You see how hard it was to kill these invisible entities. And you will not see my death. I did die against uh, invisible entity because uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, you don't have time to to use uh, your... Uh, it's never when they are alone. Most of the time it happens because, yeah, you are fighting something else and they show up and uh, you use your uh, your combat reflex, you use uh, even your shout, but sometimes the shout is not ready again and uh, yeah. So Wraith Man, this combat is uh, interesting. Wraith Man plus the Mist Man and I did not have any more my uh, my fire burst enchantment and I need movement so I switch to my glass bow but it's fine against the most dangerous part of this guy, the Miss Man. I did kill him but against the Wraith Man, look at that. <laughs> Whoa. I'm not doing that much of damage against them and they are pretty fast. Oh, I switch bow. Back to something that will kill them in 8 to 10 a row when fire burst is not on. Keep in mind, I've got uh, 4 gear with plus 13 in smithing in order to... No, plus 12 in smithing in order to uh, temper this Dragon Bone Bow. I've got 4 pieces of gears with plus 22% damage for range bow. Range, uh, yeah, range uh, marksman. And despite all of it, <laughs> I'm struggling, struggling a lot to kill Revman. This fight with my first character, which was a little bit less min max, was min max, but uh, less than this one. Yeah, <laughs> it was a long fight. I did run. A lot, a lot, and a lot. And as soon as an invisible entity show up, I was dead with my first playthrough. Here I've got a more tanky uh, character. I've got a uh, detection spell. And I decided to use visible entities in order to help me. Uh, during my first playthrough, I didn't use it. I've got a small video with extract of uh, Sulkean and uh, yeah, it was not fun. I did one mistake, uh, I came here uh, I came here without Aura Whisper uh, spell Because I was really thinking uh, Detectora will work uh, fine, but it, uh, it wasn't working as fine as I thought. And for one or two uh, invisible entities, it would have been better to uh, to have a Aura Whisper in uh, in. Uh, in a safe uh, tactics. Oh, how can you say that in English? Uh, yeah. 
Never mind. So Serena is not coming. Come on. I can't tell you you are a vampire. I tried. <laughs> So each time I want to use a detector, I switch my gears for uh, two pieces of uh, alteration reduction cost, a circlet and a ring, and the necromancer amulet. And I don't do that in combat, obviously. Uh, that's why uh, Aura Whisper should have been uh, necessary. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you don't see them coming. <laughs> Who's there? Sorry Serena, but you will fight. Uh, yeah, it's two of them, so I decided to use Predatormite in order to be able to tank. And despite that, I am having trouble. Look at that. Think about it, I've got uh, 900 armor rating and 600 uh, life points right here, right now. I died one time. I didn't die in order to come to see a Serena Mother, but I died one time here. So I know pretty well there is an invisible entity here. Yeah, and even with visible entity, <laughs> I've got some uh, trouble to to aim correctly. I did bring a elf ring with a plus 90 point of uh, elf point, but I didn't use it. Um, after a few try, I managed to deal with Miss Men without dying. Uh, so I decided not to use my uh, Frost Ring. Trying to be as much glass cannon as I could. Yeah, nice shot. I did get shot, and it's not a paralyzing, I think it's a, a knockback power. And if I knew that, invisibility, I think it's random, but there is your soul gem. And if you grab your soul gem, you will not have uh, the specific weakness of the place, which gives you uh, minus 50 in all uh, characteristics. That's why I will not show you uh, the parts where when I retrieved it, because I did kill all the guy around protecting it. 
it's only uh, a few guy after that inside the building not a lot of them Yeah, thank you for your burst. Look how many guy we've got to fight. And these arrows are vicious. So the first thing you need to have when you come here is uh, a reliable way of dealing with high damage. Mage armor uh, 5. Uh, it's a master spell of alteration. Uh, Shadow Shield, I think. Or even better, the master spell of illusion, which will not allow you to fight against all this guy, but <laughs> it will allow you to be a, a feral all the time so you will just uh, go from place to another place by running and just have to become uh, tangible in order to fight the keepers it's one solution or you have to be tanky i choose to be tanky i'm a werewolf plus 100 health point I've got uh, a dragon scale uh, chest with plus uh, 86 health points. I've got the Lord Stone with plus 100 uh, armor rating, and I've got the full uh, dragon scale uh, armor tempered with uh, a very, very high level of smithing. I did like a bit of magic resistance and uh, frost resistance, uh, but I need, not I need, but it's far better uh, to have also good damage enough to deal with invisible entities and wraith men. Even miss men are very dangerous if you can't kill them fast. Serana get <laughs> wrecked by by fire burst enchantment all the time. I did have um, again. This is arrow shot by uh, Mistman. Mistman can can use arrow, and some of them will just <laughs> wreck you. So let's retreat a bit. Heal myself. And let's go for round two. Uh, I have uh, also restriction on my uh, saving, even here. I did save quick save only at the end of each phases. So meeting Serena for Mother, it was the first phases and after each uh, keeper's death, I will uh, quick save. The first time I did manage to go to the first keeper without dying, and I did kill him, and after that I died uh, because I was stupid. And I realized I didn't uh, have quick save after the first uh, keeper, so uh, I did have to redo this part. And it was quite annoying because the first keeper is very tanky. 
I don't know if he's more chunky than the other or, or if it's me uh, who was less efficient against him, but uh, yeah, uh, I struggle a lot more against the first keeper than the other one. And surprisingly, I did have more issues with the Archer Keeper in this playthrough than in my first playthrough. In my first playthrough, I was... I've got less uh, firepower, so I don't understand why I was able to kill him so easily during my first playthrough. Here, yeah, I did have an uh, issue against him. Not big, because uh, all the keeper died the f at the first time. I didn't die any time against the keeper. When you are in Sulkan, you didn't realize it's so long. <laughs> when I saw the time of my video, I said, wow. Oh. And I did cut um, the death. Wow, I was there for so long time. I didn't feel it. For me, it was uh, very short. Say hello to the invisible entity. And uh, yeah. Who's there? yeah. It's very hard to shoot at them. I don't know why. I'm very curious to see how uh, the developers are going to uh, change the invisible entities. It is in the roadmap. One of them has got uh, an ID. Ogre Boss said uh, it was something awesome. So, um, yeah, I am eager to see that. Because right here, right now, uh, all the preparation I had to do, uh, going to uh, 90 in alteration and uh, using uh, the spell and the spell not working fine all the time. Not because of the spell, I don't think it's a bug. But when uh, I do try to use it uh, uh, a lot, but uh, the area is not so uh, broad. And, uh, and I think you can aggro invisible entity from very far away. That's why some of them uh, will not show up with the red aura glowing. It will happen in the second part of uh, this playthrough uh, uh, dedicated to Sulkern. You will not see that in this playthrough. Obviously, it will end when I will kill this keeper. Like I said, this keeper is pretty tanky. Uh, maybe I don't have the good strategy, I don't know. I am always trying to to have my, uh, my shout uh, ready for an invisible entity. But uh, yeah, this dude is too tanky for me. And this is always the same issue with guy with regeneration. There is a thin line between having enough damage to kill them and not having enough damage to kill them. And I don't want to eat a wall. That's why I've got a min max character. When you want to play a pure archer, meaning you want to do all your damage with uh, a bow, uh, you need, unfortunately, to be a bit min-max. But it's a choice, you know. Uh, 
Requiem, you learn very fast uh, that it's pretty uh, smart to have uh, a lot of different uh, possibilities in order to deal with different opponents. Relying only on one type of weapon, it's yes, possible, but it's not uh, so efficient unless you are playing a two handers. Yeah, two hand weapon, you can break everything. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, first part of Soul Cairn. Uh, it was very hard to, to play. It was stressful, and uh, but the reward is awesome. You will see that inside my Skull Daffen video, which will be epic. I promise you. See you next time for part two. Uh, have fun. Don't hesitate to sus subscribe.